All right, well, today we got a little bit of a break from the heat, which was really nice to see a little bit of that June gloom come back. And, of course, it kind of puts that fire danger a little bit on, eases right. it a little bit. Yeah, temperatures retreating from the triple-digit territory that we had inland yesterday. It definitely helps in terms of the day-to-day -day fire threat, but it's something we have to monitor yeah. every day this time of year. Fortunately, haven't seen anything big breaking out today. And things are going to continue to cool down tomorrow. The area of high pressure that brought us the hot weather yesterday continues to shift farther and farther to the south. That means a couple of things. First, the atmosphere just weighs less on top of us. That allows the marine layer to get deeper. It's going to push farther inland. It also clears the way for this storm system to get close enough to us, not to send any substantial cloud cover or rain chances into the Bay Area, not the time of year for that, but close enough to squeeze the atmosphere overhead and result in some persistent onshore winds that are going to be with us through tomorrow and Friday, likely into Father's Day weekend as well, even though temperatures are going to go up and down a little bit within that time frame. I think tomorrow is going to be the coolest day overall. But temperatures took a big step back today. Here's where we currently stand. Low 80s for the warm spots on the map. 82 Concord, 81 San Jose, 80 degrees in Livermore. It's only 70 right now in Santa Rosa. This time yesterday, Santa Rosa was at 97 degrees. So that is a rapid turnaround. It's only in the 60s in San Francisco and in Oakland. If you're heading out to the Ballers game this evening, current temperature is 68 degrees in Oakland. As that marine air makes its way across the bay, we're going to drop off quite a bit over the next about hour and a half before the first pitch. Temperatures in the low 60s at that point, dipping down into the 50s and the fog and cloud cover is going to start to spread across the bay as well. By tomorrow morning, reduced visibilities for much of the Bay Area. More of a push into the inland valleys for that fog and low cloud cover to begin the day, but it should back up out of the inland valleys by 9, 10 o'clock at the latest. And even along the coast, I think we are going to see improving visibilities, at least a little bit of sunshine peeking through as we head towards midday and early afternoon. Low temperatures tonight dropping down to slightly below average in a lot of locations, right around normal for the Santa Clara Valley, including 57 degrees in San Jose, mid 50s for Livermore, Antioch getting down into the 50s after several mornings in the 60s. Temperatures will be a little bit cooler right along the coast, just barely above 50 degrees once again for Half Moon Bay and just a degree warmer than that in both San Francisco and Oakland. But the coolest spots will be in the North Bay Valleys. The lower elevations there tend to be more efficient at collecting some of that cool air. It's temperatures dropping down into the upper 40s in both Petaluma and in Santa Rosa to begin the day tomorrow. But temperatures are going to warm back up. We're going to end up a little below average in most locations. The warmest spots are going to be in the Santa Clara Valley and then far inland in the East Bay. But even there, we're only talking the lower half of the 80s. A lot of 70s inland with 60s around the bay and only 50s along the coast. The winds will pick up once again tomorrow afternoon. This is for Thursday and Thursday night. We'll adjust the time frame there. The winds are going to be at their strongest during the afternoon and early evening hours. But the strongest gusts are going to be in that 25 to 30 mile an hour range. Enjoy the normal temperatures while they last. The 8 to 14 day outlook starts on the summer solstice, June 20th, and takes us to the first week of summer. And it shows a return of above normal temperatures in that time frame. So let's just enjoy the normal June conditions while they are here. And normal June conditions means a return to mostly the middle portion of the 80s for inland parts of the Bay Area as we head through Father's Day weekend and into the first half of next week. Around the Bay and along the coast, tomorrow will be the coolest day. Temperatures in the 60s around the Bay will return to the low to mid 70s. For Friday, Saturday and Sunday and likely Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday as well. Right along the coast, upper 50s tomorrow and then you do struggle back up to around 60 degrees. The fog and low cloud cover is going to be pretty persistent, but I think you'll see at least a little bit of sunshine peeking through and this time of year for the coast, a little goes a long way when it comes to sunshine. It certainly does. We soak up every last drop. <laughs> All right, Paul, thanks.